What's up, everybody? I am Mark Baxter, and again, here we are with another episode of Transform My Life. I got a young lady right here, and as we, this is very similar to Ayana Benzon's Fix My Life, except for this right here, right here is totally unscripted. I mean, this young lady was just walking past me, and here we are doing this interview. So again, sit back, get your popcorn, and enjoy. Let's see what God is gonna do in this situation right here, right now, but I believe, and you gotta believe too, so first, I want to thank this young lady right here for being a part of this Transform My Life. So I want to thank you for being a part of this. Thank you. All right. Show that beautiful smile because she does have a beautiful smile. See, I didn't know she had that beautiful smile when she was walking over here because she had the mask on. But she took the mask off for this interview. So we're going to jump right into it, right? Okay. So here's the thing. I feel you, I feel you got some great stuff with you. We're going to dive into it a little bit. But here's the thing. Now... Life is challenging for all of us. We just came out of the COVID thing. We still dealing with it a little bit. A lot of people's lives had to adjust. So when you look yourself in the mirror, because again, all the answers to life problems are, are, are in the mirror. What do you see is standing in your way in your life from you being your greatest self? Somebody put yourself in your own way. But, you know, outside of that, you know, I Mainly it's just yourself. Nobody's going to be in your way except for yourself. It's just yourself. So when you look at yourself, when you say mainly some people put themselves their own way, we talking about you directly. Me so, directly. So in your so life... I, I can't put myself in my own way. And what kind of way do you mean, like, so second-guessing yourself? What do you mean? Explain yeah, it a little like, bit. Yeah, like, you know, so yeah, I'm a business owner, so I know I have to go further if I will step out and become a public speaker like you. No, I can't do that. I can, but I'm stuck. You know, I'm stuck with myself. Let me tell you, that, and you are, but let me tell you the first work, the first step to getting where you want to be because you can do it. Mm -hmm. You got to take that word "can" out yeah, because okay. your words, thoughts, and actions got to be aligned with your truth. Mm -hmm. Now, can I share you? You you have amazing energy. It's not a power, but mm -hmm. it's a brilliance. Mm -hmm. I feel it. Can I expound on it a little bit? Can I tell you what I'm feeling from you? Go ahead. God has packaged you so lovely, right? Mm -hmm. That a lot of people sometimes. Because inside and out, your package so lovely, right? But people been taking advantage of you, right? So, so you you've positioned yourself because you got all the gifts in the world. Mm -hmm. But you positioned yourself right here because you know that if I stay right here, I can prevent these and these and these people from taking advantage of me. But this is what I want to tell you. This is the message I got from you. You tell me if I'm close to something. God wants you to soar to the deep. Mm -hmm. See, because the truth is, yeah, you getting it. You're a business owner, but the truth is, if you really want the big fish. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you, yeah, you gotta throw, go out to the deep waters. Mm -hmm. But see, the problem with going out to the deep waters is that it's dangerous out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Those currents are deep, they're strong. So it's a chance you might get taken down, but here's the beauty about you. I feel it. You got all the gifts in the world. That's why everybody telling you to go higher, to go higher. They not telling you nothing that they not trying to know. They telling you for real because you got all the gifts. Am I touching on something right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, can I go a little bit more? Go ahead. Okay, there was a situation in your life and it was it was someone close to you and it really closed the door on a lot of your expansion. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm here today to tell you, right? Open that door back up. Cause here's the thing about life, right? A lot of people walking around with closed hearts. That's not you, I'm just giving you an example. A lot of people close their hearts off from being hurt. But see, the thing is it saves them from running into that hurt again. But look at what it prevents them from getting. That healing, that love that gotta enter their heart too. Cause they occupy the same space. So why don't you talk, talk about a little of that for me, please. You're not going to expand because you're comfort, that's your comfort zone. And until you step out on faith, you're going to stay stuck in that comfort. So does it resonate with you a little bit what I'm talking about? It does. And that's why I had to leave my corporate and step on faith and do what, I, what was my gift, which was here. That's why I'm a business owner for eight years now. So you've already started doing what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, so this is, this is the, the other part of that. God wants to take you all the way. I'm talking about that business that you own now. Mm -hmm. He want to take you to, to, to franchise that old habit does. And he want, he want you to own the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Like he want that energy that he gave you. Guess what else? All the other business owners in the hair industry, I don't care how fly they are, how good they are, they don't have your presence. They don't have that light. Mm -hmm. They don't got that. So I'm here to tell you, listen, this is for real. Like I just met you. I just walked up here. I'm trusting that God is going to enlighten me to connect with you. And I think he did. Praise God. So are you willing? <laughs> 
to go to the deep waters to get what God got for you. I'm, I pray every day. So I'm, wherever he's leading me, I ask him to direct my life daily. So, yes. you know, if I'm supposed to be at this public speaker, I will be there one day. There it is. Yes. Well, listen, let me tell you something, young lady. You keep letting your light so shine before man so they can see your good works and glorify Father who's in heaven. So when I ask you this question, right, when you was first walking over here, you get the mask up and you're looking at him, who this strange boy over here setting up shop, this and this, this. you smiling now, you're gleaming. It's like something. The positivity, you know, we got to be suspect nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. So when they, when somebody asks you, when you go where you're going and they say, why are you going like that? What's, what's coming off you? I know you always fly. Listen, I'm Mark Baxter. But I, I just spoke to Mark Baxter. This is what you tell me. I just been touched by an angel. I just been touched by an angel. There, there it is. Go. Ah, <laughs> hey, you. it's been a pleasure. Okay, thank you, you. Take care. And listen, you also can be touched by an angel. Listen, you got to double down on excellence, my friend. See, this is the thing. I'm walking up to strangers all around the world, and I'm transforming their life. I'm tapping into this is soul to soul, my friend. This is soul to soul. It's nothing greater than this, my friend. Never forget, you were born to be great. Keep fighting, my friend. Keep fighting. Your time is here, my friend. Take care.